Hi guys, this is Lisa from Local King Robert and welcome to my channel. It has been a while since my last video. Today when I want to uh, create this video, I'm kind of a little bit rusty. Um, kind of forget about how to do the video. So um, today's video, I'm going to share with you this project. This is a project that we did at a STEM Fest show. It was last month and this is the one of the projects that we sponsored for the Friday night make and take. If you are living in the Orlando area, hoping you can join us next year. Um, this is just a, a great show and on the Friday night is just a fun fun night you got a three hours and there's a 10 sponsors so, so we are one of the sponsors and every sponsor they have to create a project and then uh, you guys are uh, um, going to finish your all 10 projects in three hours so it's kind of like a boot camp but it's uh, fun um, everything is well prepared so um, next year hoping you can join us so this project I'm calling the mastering masking It's a, a unique masking technique and uh, um, I'm going to explain to you how it works just in a minute. Before we start, um, I'm going to talk about our cruise. So we did the local kids uh, six stamping cruise right after stamp fest show. Um, it was a fantastic. We had so much fun, and we don't want to come back home um, after the cruise. So we have scheduled two cruises uh, uh, for 2024. Um, the Caribbean cruise is right after Stand Fast, so it's going to be February 12th. It's a five day cruise to go to Caribbean. And then another cruise is leaving from Vancouver, it's go to Alaska. It's uh, scheduled for September 1st to 7th. So um, I think it's 90% uh, that we secured the spot. And uh, for our Stamping cruise, it's so much fun because uh, we secured the conference room. And I see a lot of you guys uh, um, join us. and. And then bring your own crafting stuff and we because we had a small group so we actually have a chance to knowing each other and the sit down and the crafting by the end of this video I will post a few of the picture to share with you get you guys and then also at this conference room they have a huge TV so this is the first time I kind of use the TV as a projector and people can see well uh, what I'm doing so we just had a wonderful time and then um, so the cruise company is working on our website and uh, as soon as uh, when the web is uh, design, uh, is ready i will send an email uh the newsletter out if you i think they require 200 dollars for the five day cruise and the 500 dollars deposit for the seven days cruise if you put the deposit i guarantee i i well, i don't want to say a guarantee um, you will get a better rate for a stamping uh, Caribbean cruise. Uh, some of uh, you guys, like some of the crafter, they revert, reserve their spot right away. They get a very good price, and then a few weeks later, when they 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 um they try to book the 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 cabin, and the price gone out a lot. So think about it. If you have never been um Alaska before, it's going to be awesome. And it's my hometown in Vancouver. If you guys come a little bit sooner, I can give you a city tour, and it will be so much fun. And otherwise, uh, if you are one of the snowbird, want to heading south during the uh, winter time, February is an uh, awesome time. So and then come to the show. After the show, we just head into the Caribbean. Okay. So that's the first things about our cruise, and thank you for um for the people who joined us. Uh, we had a wonderful time. The other things I know a lot of you guys cannot travel, in and then um you want to join us too. That's why I created a, a workshop. The workshop is going to be next uh, Saturday at ten o'clock Pacific time. So um this is what we did on the cruise. So uh, everybody signed on the cruise that they will get at least a whole set of uh, stamps and plus the digital image. And then I am going to talk about this digital image uh, later on in my workshop. And then also you will get at least uh, four background stamps. So the um, the people who participate this uh, on our cruise, they are paying $100. The only difference is I prepare all the car sample, like a car project material, everything for that. For the uh, for you guys, if you cannot join us, you still want to see what did we do on the cruise. Um, we still have a few spots left for our workshop and uh, you can purchase uh, Lisa. Uh, Lisa will put the link below and then, but uh, I don't think so, uh, the stamp set will arrive before our workshop, but uh, just join us the uh, um, the workshop and the chatting and uh, um, later on you can watch this video uh, later. 
uh, you can watch the replay. So this workshop is not going to be uh, on um, on the public. I am not going to share this one on the YouTube because it is a workshop. Some of the some of the crafters they are not comfortable to um, to be in the public uh, YouTube. So that's one of the reason I don't post the workshop on the Facebook. Uh, on the Facebook or on the YouTube anymore. So the, it is the pay program, and uh, I think it's a very good deal. You get a whole set, and then you get the, all the digital image. And we only have a few sets uh, available. Later on, this one is not going to be available, no longer available um, in or online store anymore. But the uh, the background stamp they will be available. So they are if you don't need this whole set, the background stamp is only twelve ninety nine. So um, and also you will get the digital image. So what the digital image is, I create one of these projects. This is uh, one of my swap project. So um, or stamping cruise is so much fun and. Uh, um, before we finish your cruise, I ask uh, all the participants um, if they can use this set to create one card, send it to me. So I will share that one with you guys once when I receive the card. So this is the one actually I create uh, the swap project. I'm going to send it back to them. So this is actually created by the digital uh, image. Uh, like I said, I will explain a little bit more in the future. Okay, so that's the workshop. Is it going to be next Saturday, ten o'clock Pacific time? If you want to join join me, and if you already purchased this set and you did not receive the the link, please send me an email, and I will send you the link. If you cannot join, if you purchase, you cannot join us. Uh, just uh, send me the um, send me an email, and I will send you the video link. You can watch the replay later. Okay. So that is about the our workshop. And for our stamping cruise, um, for the 2024 stamping cruise, I am charged only $100 uh, for onboard activity fee. But uh, you can see you actually get something more than $100. And uh, I will do the all the hard job, pre-cut pre everything. You just uh, be there. You don't even have to bring anything on board. So I think it's a really good, um, pretty good deal. Okay, so today's project I'm going to share with you guys a, a very unique uh, masking technique. So we are going to use our floating bubbles. Okay, so this is our floating bubbles. So what I did is uh, I just uh, applied the uh, ink and uh, you can use the uh, uh, VersaFine or uh, stays on any kind of waterproof uh, block impact so you ink and then you just uh, stamp few so that's uh, what it look like after you stamp this one I think I just used the verse fine and uh, I am using Cougars 100 pounds car stuff so you can use any kind of like a watercolor car stuff they will work just fine so I just found out these 100 pounds of Cougar cards that actually work well before I use a Kenson watercolor paper. It's much, um, it's much expensive than this Cougar. And if you are looking for the Cougar cardstock, you can check uh, Marco's paper. They do carry the Cougar cardstock. Okay, so here is uh, what I'm going to show you. Let me show you first and then... can see need a piece of paper over here okay okay I did something okay this one I did something this one I didn't do anything and then uh, I know you cannot see right so I'm going to show you what did I do and so this is our magic mushroom and remember or magic mushroom see the difference before you want to use this magic mushroom you make sure they are moisture so just soak them in the water and then make sure they are uh, completely grow up and uh, this is uh, not ready to use this is the one ready to use they have to be moisture okay moisture not wet if they are too wet you won't you won't be able to pick up the color the impact 
Okay, you can see I switch back to the Memento, my favorite impact. So this time when we went to the um when we went to Orlando, we stopped in the Washington and I went to the Zucchinico um company and I pick up the ordinary inker because I've been trying all the impact and then still Memento is my favorite. I just wish they have a more color. They have a 36 color. It's uh, it's enough, but I just love the their their color. And then um you remember they have those kind of colors color and a lot of color they are going to discontinue soon. So I actually order a few um single color and I order their um on ink impact and I'm going to share it with you guys later. So that's just uh, use this uh, Bahama blue and I'm going to show you it's a uh, brand new okay so I'm going to just pick up the color beautiful blue so this is the one I didn't do anything so what I can do you can see just the uh, color for this is cougar if you have a purchase a box of uh, or magic mushroom and then um still challenging the like a blending i have a lot of video make sure you watch those video they are once when you get the hands on you will find out how amazing those magic mushroom and then on the cruiser one of my um friend asked me how did you come up with this magic mushroom idea so I was looking for a blending tool and then I try all the blending tool, everything I, I, everything on the market, I have one. And then I um, they are all like a, the brush tip, they are like a hair. So when they blending, they don't really blending well and also they take a lot of time to do that. And then I really looking for something is a sponge, but unfortunately they don't have this one on the market. They have those kind of, um, what's that go? What's that called? The little one they put on the finger and then I, I forgot what I call in English. And then the the the, the tip is not a sponge, it's uh, kind of like a felt. So they don't really blending soft like a smooth. And then so I contact with uh, um I contact with a, a factory. So in the beginning uh, I um I found out the the sponge, the makeup sponge they blending well. So they have this kind of sponge on the market, but uh, if you try this one, you will find out after a few times they will just shatter, just falling apart. So I contact with uh, um, one company in China and I asked them, I'm looking for the um, the some kind of blending tool. And then, but uh, this is different with the regular makeup sponge because every sponge, they have a different different kind of softness. Some of them is very, very soft. Some of them is a little bit harder. And also um, when I asked them, I want to, this match the tip is flat, not the wrong. So when you apply the color, it's much easier if your the the sponge part is like a wrong. You don't really pick up enough ink. So if you want to compare with like a regular makeup sponge, you can find it from the store. They are actually very expensive. They are like a one sponge probably from Sofiro, probably like a five ten dollars. And then the shape is not the flat, is a wrong. Okay, and also the hardness is different. Okay, so let's just start with the second one. So I always testing a little bit, make sure I don't have too much ink. And then let's see what's different. Uh-huh. Did you see what's different here? How come my bubbles is masking? What did I do? Okay, so kind of just uh, draw a little circle. Okay, and the least uh, or magic mushroom is really like magic because you can really control. When you push hard, it's darker color. When you release a little bit pressure, you can actually soften it. That's what the brush you cannot do. Okay, so that's really pretty, right? Okay, and then we're going to change another color here. I'm going to do a little bit green. Jeez. 
so just do a few of the bubble see we just do a very very soft and blending with that blue and a few of the bubble is still stay white and then we're going to do a little bit purple here so this is a new sorry okay Topping it jingle you can see few of the bubbles stay white and I'm going to reveal my secret how come my bubble see soft blending remember if you get a set of a magic mushroom you want your mushroom to work well they have to be moisture okay moisture the dry mushroom they will not blend they won't blend at all let's add a little bit pink there's a lot of uh, Oh, see, like uh, this impact. I have to re ink. I haven't re inked yet. I'll just add a little bit. They have been working for a few years. There you go. Isn't that pretty? Even though I can just uh, add a little bit pink here, and then they create a new color. See? I have a darker blue there. And then my bubble is white. How did I do that? And then if you want to, you can just uh, How did I do my bubble? Okay, here is the secret. I actually create a stencil. So this is uh, the laminated sheets, but I you only use uh, half of them. So what are you going to do is uh, Actually, if you have a digital die machine, um, when you purchase a Lisa stamp set, you have a free download for Lisa stamp set. So if you don't have a digital die machine, what you're gonna do is you just stamp your image first, and then you put the stamp, uh, piece, uh, piece, uh, acid, uh, not acetate, piece uh, laminate sheets, and then you use a Sharpie marker, just a kind of color feel of the bubble. The shape is not really complicated. So after you um, cut, uh, circling those bubbles and then you have to die cut it with a craft knife, okay? But if you have a digital die cut machine, um, you, um, this uh, free digital die cut is included if when you purchase this stamp set. So what I do is I have a piece of metal here and then I just use this stencil that I create okay it's going to be perfectly lined up that huge bubble somewhere like that a little bit adjust like these okay something like this and then where did my maybe here pretty good okay and then what did i do I use this new Vo transparency one, or you can use a diamond um three dimensional three dimensional glue or the diamond glaze, and you are going to use a cheap, inexpensive uh, wedges, okay, and then you are going to just use a flat side, and then you are going to just tap directly on that bubble you don't need a lot so this way is actually create that masking you can repeat like a one or two layer okay so 
but I think one layer is enough. And then after you finish this one, you can reuse this all the time. So I kind of just uh, use a wet cloth, wipe over. You can see this is still some kind of mark. Okay, they dry. It's not going to affect your performance. So now I don't know. Can you see? You cannot really see the reflection. You cannot really see the reflection. But that's how I created this bubble with the masking by using the new bow dropping and then see. Or what you can do is you can just uh, put the bubble directly on top and then they actually create like a 3D. But the only thing is sometimes, first of all, they take a a, a while to become really dry. The small bubble is okay, but the big one is kind of because if too much, sometimes your paper will wrinkling. Okay, so that's how I did my bubbling. And I'm going to show you the other project. That's one of the project we did on the cruise. Okay, so this is going to be one of the project we're going to do at the doing a workshop. The bubbles is also create the same technique. Okay, so that's one of the project. It's one of our work, workshop projects. So that's how I did this mastering masking. And then we're going to mount on top. And I'm going to put our octopus on top. Okay, found my octopus here. So octopus, I'm going to show you. This is uh, our um, under the sea stem set. Because they have a matching dye, it makes the coloring so easy. So what I'm going to do is I just uh, put a little bit of orange here. And then you stamp your image. And because we have a die cut, you don't have to worry about the detail. Just uh, put a little bit of orange on top and a little bit of red. This one need to re-ink. Okay. Just like this. I'm to re-ink right after this video. Okay. okay, and we are going to put the 3D eyeball. This is a very fun way to do that. So we are going to use the new bow, the white one. It's just like an icing. So you're going to just uh, give a two, one. It can be a little bit bigger, like this. This is much better than the googly eyes. It looks more realistic. And then we're going to put a little bit yellow, the iris part. And we're going to just have a, a tiny black dot. Ta-da! And there's more. What I can do is you can use the white gel pen. To kind of highlight these suction cup, few of them. Okay, and you can use these a new bowl. Just a few of them, make like a three D. eyeball and I'm going to just uh, mount on top together and then this one can be any kind of car you like so I'm going to glue it and I will be right back Ta -da! that's what it look like so how do you like this uh, mastering masking technique um just to give you an idea and then you can try this kind of technique on the, your own project and if you like you can um, share Share with your share your project on Local Kings Facebook 
page if you like to see what did we do on all the on the cruise make sure you go to the local kings facebook page and then you can get a, a little bit more idea on what the local kings cruise look like so this is another octopus i did unfortunately it kind of get a uh, cross eyes and i found out mr sausage <laughs> okay so that's today's uh, um today's video and i hope you like it and uh, um a lot of you guys uh, send me an email and say hey what are you doing why are you have been so quiet why 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 don't you create the um um the videos anymore i still do and kind of like a vacation mode and then just take it easy and uh, recently actually um, um because uh, you guys probably know we are uh, semi-retired we don't really um doing shows anymore and uh, i actually got a chance to stay at home do some crafting show you what did i do recently i am doing some coloring i wish you guys can see the original artwork it just looks so 3d um maybe like this one let me remove the frames so i'm actually do some coloring i found out the coloring is actually pretty relaxing so this is actually a color with uh, alcohol markers and uh, this is what i do so um if you like to i know not everybody have a, a lot of uh, like a copay marker you don't have to have a copay marker i did one video i was you um like a i i did a video comparing the cheap like an inexpensive uh, alcohol marker with a copy marker. This one I actually use the Ohuhu marker. Um, it's uh, much cheaper than the copy marker, and they, they did just a great job. And I think if you want to make some gift, I think this is something very nice. Just mount on piece of glass, um, glossy card stuff. If you want, you can check from Marco's uh, uh, website. You can find a glossy card stuff. And I just uh, uh, use a digital die cut, cut it, and then that's a future when you're going to switch the dig uh, digital color pretty soon. So for our cruise, for local kings stamping cruise, um, beside the onboard activity, something uh, we will use a brand new, like for the Caribbean cruise, I will design something special for the Caribbean cruise, and I will design something for Alaska cruise so they are completely different and then this cruising is not about making money because I can take up to like 40 people but we decide I decide that I want to keep under 24 so each table only have a six people we have a full project at each class and then uh, four people a group so that way I can really get a chance to know each other. So we are only going to take 24 people. And then the best part is anybody participate, everybody join us on our cruise, you got like a 50% of uh, uh, promotion. You can um, send us your shopping list. If you come to the show, you can actually come pick up uh, from the show. You get a 50% off and then um for all whole store because uh, we are retired right so instead of we keep all inventory at our warehouse it's better to let it go so um that's uh, the great deal for the people who is joining us on board for the people who cannot join us on board try to join our workshop because uh, i know it can be very costly so we will run the workshop after the cruise and then we will also offer something very good for our workshop crafters too so i think i've done enough talking sorry a little bit rusty here um hoping you like today's project and i will still working on the video once in a while and for some of you guys if you are into the coloring doodling leave me a comment send me an email let me know so maybe later on when i doing my coloring i can record it and i will share my 
coloring process with you. So you don't have to have expensive copy uh, copy markers. You can use uh, like an uh, inexpensive marker. They will do the same thing too. Okay, so that's everything. And I will um, continue working on our YouTube video. And I'm hoping to see you guys uh, next Saturday. So it's uh, March 11. 10 o'clock Pacific time. I will put a link, a link below. If you want to join us, uh, just click the link. It will provide all the information. So this is Lisa from Local King Robertson. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.